Today the doctor is in y'all, except I'm not the doctor, it's Dr. G. Yo, what's up? Hey, thanks for fitting me in for an appointment. Okay, so I've basically been told I've got some good thumbnails, some good content, but I just really feel like my videos aren't reaching enough people. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know if there's anything more that I can do to make this happen? Well, sounds like you need a dose of SEO. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, well, I hope you can help give me some pointers on what I can do, because I'm, uh, I'm a bit lost on this. Yeah, no worries, I've got you covered like insurance. <laughs> I don't think your jokes are landing. Tough crowd. Okay, well, I'll just hop onto your channel and see what I can do then. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Good luck and uh, don't quit your day job. <laughs> what, that gets the laugh? All right, guys, so here we are on Dr. G's channel. Now, I just have to say that I am super excited to make this video. I'm so happy that Dr. G has so graciously accepted to have me build in this channel. Uh, so we're going to be doing this using most of the methods that I've talked about in my past videos. We're going to be using Google Trends, Google Keyword Planner, and of course, TubeBuddy. Now I have recently made a video going through vidIQ as well. But since I am still currently more comfortable with TubeBuddy, I will continue to use TubeBuddy until I feel more comfortable with vidIQ. Now I do channel audits every now and then. My last one that I did on this channel, however, uh, was for my friend's art channel. I usually have this thing where I prefer to not look at anything older than six months. So for the sake of time though, however, in this video, I'm only going to be looking at things that are about no more than two months. Now first of all, when it comes to design and quality, quality of content. Thumbnails are on point so I really have nothing to say except if you want to give me some pointers that would be great. <laughs> uh, now let's see here. So I'm going to be looking at everything from this video I made the biggest mistake in Minecraft to then the last video that he uploaded. Now I have been lurking on his channel for the past few weeks and I told him that I think I've watched all if not several of his videos. So I already know at least that the latest videos that he's making are all focused around Minecraft and I want to first go into Google Trends and look at Minecraft as a category and see how it's doing. So let's go on to Google Trends first. All right. So so here we are in Google Trends. I've made a video about using Google Trends already in the past, so you can, if you want to know more of like an in-depth how it works and what it is, you can go ahead and check out that video. Uh, I'm just going to go in and type Minecraft as a general idea. I'm just going to keep it to the United States or I can change it to worldwide, which is even better, the past year. Now this is really good to see if you want to make content focus around one topic. It seems like worldwide the past year, Minecraft has been pretty stable, meaning there haven't been any steep drops. Now we do have some suggestions down here, but this is what I was mainly looking for in Google Trends. I just wanted to see if Minecraft is still something that's stable and that will continue to get him views. Next thing, now that I know that Minecraft is doing really well, I'm going to head back into his channel and look at the individual videos themselves. Okay, so here's one of his videos that he made about two months ago. Uh, I want to check the description and I think I can see the tags for this video as well. My focus is gonna be on most of the titles and descriptions. YouTube keeps saying that tags are not that important. It doesn't mean that they shouldn't be there. I still think that we should be tagging all of our videos. One thing that's really good that he did here was that he kind of repeated the title of the video in the description and that's like one of the tips that I mentioned in one of my earlier videos that you always want to try to repeat the title of your video in the description and not only in the description but you also want to repeat it in your video when you're actually speaking these CC things that YouTube does closed captions it actually reads the audio you guys see it it comes up automatically without any subtitles it just reads the audio that you have in your videos so it's important that you also are saying things that are uh, similar to the tags and the titles that you use it's a part of the whole SEO optimization process now I would prefer that the description is a little bit longer so what I would suggest that he does is start taking the tags that he's used in his videos here and incorporating them into the description so for example in this video you will see that I fell in lava and I had one of the biggest Minecraft fails and I made a rookie mistake you just want to make it sound natural so that's the first thing for that now I'm gonna check the SEO itself and the keyword search volume so I'm going to head on over to Google Keyword Planner 
So here we are in Google Keyword Planner. Now I've used this several times on my channel. If you are interested in seeing how it works and how you can make an account for free and use this tool completely for free, you can watch the video that coming up on your screen right now on your top right corner. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and type directly. He had the video typed one of the biggest mistakes in Minecraft that he made. The search volume is almost non-existent, um, which I'm not surprised by. I think most people searching for Minecraft content will go either directly via YouTube or on Twitch or something else. If I just put Minecraft instead, you see a huge difference if I just type Minecraft. So Minecraft itself is a very, very, very high search volume keyword and very low competition. You have a lot of suggestions here. I do not know what this means. I don't know. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. We have a lot of really good high search volume, low competition keywords. I don't know if these like MC Pedal, Hypicus, Hi, what? What? Pixelmon. I, okay, I don't know how many of these actually have something to do with Minecraft, but I will let him do that judgment because I do not know what this means. <laughs> I'm gonna go on to the, another video here and see. I wonder if I type Ender Dragon. That's a good keyword to have in your title. This is actually really good. It's giving you some titles directly that you can use. So he could easily make a video how to kill the Ender Dragon. Now again, I have no idea what the Ender Dragon is, <laughs> but these are some good ideas. One thing that I noticed already that's really good, I don't know if he started picking up on SEO around this time, but these how-to titles are really good on YouTube. They tend to do pretty well SEO-wise. It just makes your titles more searchable and makes it something that someone would want to search on YouTube or on Google to get to one of your videos. So we have an idea of what he can use Google Keywords Planner for, and we see that he has a lot of good keywords. The one thing that we have to look at now is how he's optimizing them for YouTube. For that, we're going to have to jump into TubeBuddy. Now I'm going to be using TubeBuddy for all the rest of these videos since I already have a general idea of his tagging. So I'm going to first type in the exact title that he used or at least the keywords that he used and see how they perform. I'm going to go ahead and use this biggest mistake in Minecraft and see the score and you can see it's very good. Uh, the only thing I would work on is since I'm not getting any related tags for this, using the tags, even if it's a tags that you found from Google Keyword Planner, you can use those as well and write a longer description and incorporate the tags that you found. Uh, the next one I'm going to be looking at is the one where he made that's I hate the nether. <laughs> and I have no idea what the nether means, but let's see. We need to make this better. Um, I hate the nether. How about why I hate the nether? Okay, this is why I hate the, oh, look at that. And I think this is as good as we're going to get, but very good is obviously a very good score. Uh, now let's look at this one. I built a mountain base in Minecraft. 96 out of 100, that's an excellent score. I want to look at how this video's description is written. I see that vidIQ is giving it a score of 60 and I'm almost sure it's because of the description. So remember how I told you guys that you want to repeat the title of your description? What's important is you want to repeat the title in the first 30 to 60 characters of your description box. So here, what he should have done is incorporate this, I built a mountain base in Minecraft, in here in the beginning. So he could say, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Dark Rooms and then directly write, I built a mountain base in Minecraft, exclamation mark, and then continue with, we are back in the Minecraft world and dot, 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 and so on and so forth. All right, let's go on to the next video. Built an iron farm in Minecraft. All right, 85, that's also really good. I so wish I knew more about Minecraft, but I see that he has tags and that's awesome. Okay, so for this one, it's the same thing. I need, I made an iron farm uh, to be moved up here because it's a bit too far down and the optimization just won't pick it up. You need it to be somewhere in the beginning. All right, here is the ender dragon that we talked to mention about earlier. You already know that's a high search volume, but 
Let's see how it does. Okay, it's got a sort of good. Let's change that to fight ender dragon. Okay, so we can see that the score is a lot better with how I fought the ender dragon. Here, it's just how. That's all he's gonna have to add is literally one word. He could say how I fought the ender dragon dash this is what happened or dash you won't believe what happened. And then we'll go to how to get the oh oh. oh. See, I don't know how to pronounce that. I have no idea how to pronounce that. How to get the Elytra? I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be a good one. Exactly as I thought. It's probably good. Um, it's because it's really basic. Uh, it's gonna probably add something a little bit extra. Okay, how can we make this better? So, how to get the Elytra in Minecraft is easily a word. Easily the word, right? I can't be that stupid. See how it's sometimes it's small words that you can tweak to get the results that you need. Uh, the search volume is fair. The competition is at least unweighted is low. And the optimization strength is high, meaning that most of the people that have made this content uh, this for this title have not optimized their video as much. So making me that you should be able to rank a little more easily. Uh, moving on to this one. Okay, so this title's also good. It could be better. How to easily get a trend in Minecraft. How does that sound? This is awesome. I now hope that it was easy to get. <laughs> Please make this trident easy to get. I can't remember if it was easy to get or not because, I mean, for me, everything is hard since I have no idea what Minecraft is about. I give the same suggestion of also optimizing your description. It's very, very important. All right, next one. I tried the best dream Minecraft manhunt plays. Dream is very popular. I tried the best dream Minecraft manhunt plays. Okay, so it's good. Okay, for this title, it seems like taking out best actually helps the SEO score out more. So trying Dream Manhunt plays. Yeah, this title gives you the best score so far. I've tweaked, I've tried, I tried Dream Manhunt plays, trying best Dream Manhunt plays. For the sake of this video, I cut out a lot of the keyword searches that I do because I don't want to make this video forever long. But this is the best one that I've come up with so far. And it's the one that kind of makes the most sense. Now on to one of my favorite videos that he's made. Um, the problem with vegans. It's just so good. It's so good. You guys have to watch it. Uh, now for this one, because it's one of those, I call them one-off videos, where the title is, it, it has such a hook, I don't even want to change it. It has a poor score, but he added Minecraft LP at the end. That's what helps because if you have one of those titles where you try to captivate, a lot of the times when you work on SEO and, and you're trying to captivate an audience, you lose part of the SEO because of you're trying to get a title that makes people click on it. And that's totally understandable. We've all done it before. We all try to make titles that people actually will click on. The title is just so perfect for this video that I don't want to change it. If you want to work around your title, what you want to do is, this is where you optimize the description box to make sure that you have all the tags in the description box and early on in the description box so that your video can still show up in the search. Your video will still come up because of the descriptions that you put on your on your video. I would even use veganism in my tags since that is something that you are talking about uh, in this video. So I would, because veganism is a good low competition and very high search volume keyword. So you didn't want to add that into your tags and your description for sure. If you want to change it to the problem with veganism, sure. But honestly, this title is just so epic. I wouldn't change it. The next one, wizard tower built in Minecraft. Okay, so it says very good. I have searched at least five <laughs> different keywords and it seems like wizard tower built in Minecraft is the best one so far. I can't get anything higher than a 78 or 79. It's the best title that I could find for this video. Looks like we're down to our last video on this channel. Okay, so the keyword for this one is trying dream boat 
clutch. Again, very good. I wouldn't change this title at all. The only thing I would do is the same as the other one is add the tags and work on optimizing your description. It has 131 views. So clearly something is going right with this video right now. So for you, Dr. G, I prescribe a daily dose of description box optimization <laughs> and slightly tweaking some of your titles like I've mentioned in this video to help you increase your SEO score. So I'm so sad to say that that is it. Ugh, the journey has been so beautiful. Big shout out to Dr. G for letting me do this. It's been a blast. Very easy to collaborate with. It's been super awesome. Now, if you are interested in having me do something like this for your channel, I actually have set up a Fiverr gig specifically just for YouTube SEO and for channel audits. That link will be down in my description box. Now, if you guys want to learn my secret SEO strategies that I've been talking about on the channel and that I use today, then you are going to want to watch the next videos that are showing up on your screen right now. So choose whichever pops out to you the most and I will see you next time.